Hi, hello everyone. So for this video, we're going to discuss all about the different types of a quadrilateral. So yun na nga kung bago ka pa lang sa channel ko, subscribe mo na yan. Hit also the notification bell, like, comment, and share para naman updated kayo sa mga bago kong uploads, especially regards with mathematics. Okay, so thank you so much and God bless. So without further ado, let's start. Okay, so the first type of a quadrilateral is a parallelogram. Okay, so take a look at this um, figure. So we have a parallelogram. Cute. Alright, so kunwari cute tayo kahit hindi ano. Charot lang. Okay, so sabi dito, um, sa properties of a parallelogram, opposite sides are equal and Parallel. So, when we say opposite, ito yung magkatapatan na sides. Okay? Opposite in direction. So, like for example, so we have um, side UT. Okay? So, ilagay natin. Side UT is parallel to. So, it, ganito yung sign ng parallel. Okay? To CE. Or side CE. Okay, so napansin yun, UT is parallel to CE. Okay, another one, so we have UC is also parallel to TE. Okay, so, so yun na nga, when we say parallel, ito naman yung two lines that do not intersect. Meaning to say, wala silang pag-asang magkatagpo. Ano? Sabi diyan, opposite sides are equal and parallel. Meaning to say, those sides are also equal to each other. Like for example, side UT is equal to side CE. Okay? Lagyan natin siya ng congruent. So when we say congruent, meaning, like for example, yung Equal and congruent. It is just the same. Okay? So, lagyan natin ng tick marks. We have side UT is congruent to side CE. As well as side UC. UC is congruent to side TE. So, ito yung sign ng congruent. Okay? So, let's put also markings or tick marks. Ayan. Since they are the same in measurement and they are equal. And of course, itong dalawang to since they are equal. Meaning to say, if UT is 5, CE is also 5 in measure. And of course, if TE is 3 cm then UC is also 3 cm okay so ganun lamang kasimple okay so moving on to the next property we have opposite angles are equal so sinabi ko na nga kanina when we say opposite ito yung dalawang magkatapatan okay so we have angle C Right? Angle C is equal to what angle? Since yung katapat niya is si angle T, meaning to say they are equal in measurement or congruent. Angle T. Lagyan din natin ng tick marks para hindi tayo malito. So, congruent sila with each other. So, ganun lamang kasimple. And of course, the other pair. So, we have angle U. Angle U is congruent to angle E. Since sila yung magkatapat. Okay? So, lagyan natin ng marking. So, we have Okay, so, ganun labang kasi. Again, we have opposite sides are equal and parallel and opposite angles are 
equal and it is a parallelogram cute okay which is a type of a quadrilateral okay okay next we have we have a rectangle mat so the first property is opposite sides are equal and parallel so parang parallelogram lang din siya okay? and of course nasabi ko na kanina nang ibig sabihin ng opposite ay yung magkatapatan again opposite sides are equal and parallel so we have side 80 is parallel to side mh And of course, they are congruent to each other. So, we have side AT is congruent to side MH. Okay? Lagyan lang natin ng tick marks. Okay, of course, we have the second one. Um, side AM. Side AM is parallel to side TH. As well as they are also congruent to each other. AM is congruent to TH. Again, muna natin ang markings. Like for example, the measurement of AT is equal to 15 cm. Meaning to say, the measurement of MH is also 15 cm. And again, we have AM as 10 cm in measure. That's why TH is also 10 cm in measure. And of course, the second property is all angles are right angle. So, ano ba kapag sinabing right angle? Um, ito yung measurement in 90 degree. Right angle. Is equal to 90 degree. Okay, so all sides that are rather all angles are right angle. So we have angle M as 90 degree, angle A as 90 degree, angle T as 90 degree, and angle H as 90 degree. Okay, so the third type of a quadrilateral is a square as part of its properties. So, we have opposite sides are parallel. So, alam nyo naman na kung ano ang ibig sabihin ng parallel line. Lines that do not intersect. Okay, the second one is all sides are equal. Of course, um, kapag sinabi natin square, given naman na that all sides are equal. So, lagyan lang natin ng tick marks. So, we have, ayan, since pare-parehas yung sides niya. The third property is, all angles are right angles. Okay, so when we say right angle, its measure is equal to 90 degrees. So, sabi dyan, lahat daw ng angles are right angles. So, we have four right angles in a quadrilateral square. We have angle L, angle E, angle K, and angle I. Okay, so bago natin makalimutan, the name of this quadrat quadrilateral is a square-like. Man yun, no? Pwede din tayong mag-solve like kahanapin natin yung missing measurement. Okay, so since ito naman ay different types of quadrilateral, so hindi na natin explore, no? So pwede naman tayong gumawa na panibagong video about the solving of its missing part. Okay, so we have a rhombus as a type of a quadrilateral. So the first property is opposite sides are parallel. So alam nyo naman natin kung anong ibig sabihin ng opposite. Diba? Yung magkatapat na sides. Okay, like for example we have side LO or line LO is parallel to, sino bang katapat niya na side? C side EV is parallel to side EV we have the other pair as side LE is parallel to side OV 
Okay, so before pala natin makalimutan, we have a rhombus love. Love ka ba niya? Char. And of course, we have all sides are equal. So, para lang din naman siyang square that all sides are equal. So, we have side LO, side EV, side OV, and side LE as equal. Okay? So, so sabi din dito, we have opposite angles are equal. So, kung kanina, opposite sides are parallel. Ngayon naman, opposite angles are equal. So, alin yung mga angles na opposite which is equal to each other? So, we have angle O. Angle O is equal to angle E. Since, ang opposite ng angle O is si angle E, so sila yung equal in measurement. Meaning to say, if it is, for, um, if it is um, 39 degree, so angle E is also 39 degree degree. Tama? So, angle O is congruent or equal to angle E. And of course, the other one is angle L. Since si angle L, ang katapat niya or the opposite of angle L is angle V. Tama? That's why they are equal. So, lagyan lang natin ng markings na Okay, so the next property to be discussed is a diagonals bisect each other at right angles. So, ano ba ang ibig sabihin ng diagonals? So, ito. Diagonal is a line segment. Okay? Line segment, meaning to say, linya, ano? Joining two vertices okay, of a polygon or polyhedron. Hindi sa edges, ha? Okay, so, maglagay tayo ng diagonal. So, we have diagonal OE. Sabi dito, diagonals bisect each others at right angle. So, maglagay pa tayo ng isang diagonal. Okay. Ano ang ibig sabihin ng bisect? Okay. So, as you can see, these two diagonals bisect each other. Or sabihin na natin nag-intersect, ano? Kasi nag-meet sila at one, at one point. Ito. Okay? So, ang ginamit na term is bisect each other. Kasi, ang pinagkaiba po ng intersect to bisect is, yung intersect, um, it divides something by passing or lying across to it. Okay? So, lalampasan mo lang. Tapos, parang ganito. Ayan nag-intersect sila to each other at one point, okay? So, ibig sabihin naman ng bisect, it divides a line, angle, shape, into two equal parts. Meaning to say, uh, ang pinagkaiba lang ng bisect sa intersect is, dinidivide niya yung object into two equal parts. So, kung ito, dinivide niya si rhombus, nagkaroon tayo ng dalawang equal parts. And dito, dinivide niya si rhombus, nagkaroon tayo ng dalawang equal parts. So, sabi dito, bisect each other at right angles. Okay, so, kung napansin nyo, nakaform, nakapag-form tayo ng right angle. Okay? So, ano nga ulit ang ibig sabihin ng right angle? Its measurement is equal to 90 degree. Okay, so take a look at this. We have a trapezoid nice. Okay, so it is a type of a quadrilateral with one pair of opposite sides that is parallel. So alam naman na natin kapag sinabing parallel, di ba? Lines that do not intersect. Okay, so take a look at this. We have IC or side IC is parallel to side NE. Okay, so, ito lang dalawang to, yung parallel na sinasabi in regards with the trapezoid or with the quadrilateral trapezoid. Bakit? Kasi, take a look at this, we have side IN and side CE. Kasi kapag in-extend mo yan, in-extend mo yan ng direction, um, uh, 
at some point uh, pwede silang mag-intersect okay so hindi sila pwede as parallel so ganun lang kasimple ang trapezoid okay so moving on to the last we have a kite kind okay so the first property that we're going to discuss about this quadrilateral is two pairs of adjacent sides are equal okay so when we say adjacent these are the sides of a polygon that have a common vertex okay so sabi diyan dalawang pares lang daw yung adjacent sides na equal okay okay so explain ko lang what is adjacent so in tagalog sila yung magkatabi na sides in a common vertex like for example ki is adjacent to im kasi naglay sila in its common vertex magkasama sila or magkatabi kasi sila okay si im and si nd diba naglalay din sila in the same vertex that's why adjacent din sila and of course ik is adjacent to kd okay common vertex and nd is adjacent to kd and its common vertex so, so, kasi sabi dito dalawang pares ng adjacent sides that are equal so alin ba dito yung adjacent sides na equal so we have ki and in ito yung unang pares ng adjacent sides that is equal meaning to say if ik is or rather ki is 3 cm Of course, IN is also 3 cm. Eh, itong IN and ND, sa tingin nyo ba, equal sila ng measurement? Hindi, of course. Kasi, as you can see, magkaiba sila ng length. That's why, adjacent sila, pero hindi sila kasali sa dalawang pair ng equal. Okay, so, the second pair is KD is adjacent to dn and they are equal in measure okay so like for example if kd is um, 5 centimeter then of course dn or nd is also 5 centimeter so dalawang pares lamang ng adjacent sides that are equal Okay, so the next property that we are going to discuss about this quadrilateral is one diagonal bisect the other. Mag lagay tayo ng diagonal in this kite, okay? So, we have diagonal ID. Diagonal ID. Okay? So, naglagay tayo ng diagonal. Okay, so maglagay pa tayo ng isa pang diagonal. So, we have diagonal KN. Okay, so, one diagonal bisect the other. So, bakit sinabing one diagonal bisect the other? E dalawang diagonal naman meron tayo. Ang bisect is, it divides into two equal parts. E itong diagonal na lang, na to lang naman yung nag-divide sa kite into two equal parts, tama? And itong diagonal na to, hindi siya nag-divide sa kite into two Equal okay, parts. so the last property that we're going to discuss is diagonals intersect at right angle. So, yun na. Intersect na. Kasi diba, pinaliwanag ko na a while ago kung ano ang ibig sabihin or pinagkaiba ng bisect and intersect. One, okay, so diagonals intersect at right angle. Okay, so kita naman natin, nagform sila ng right angle. So, we have Four right angles in here.